If your HPAC site requires extra funding that can't be obtained through your school or community, the students may apply for a Community Action Grant. This provides the students with the opportunity to learn about the grant writing process and receive money for supplies and transportation, or bringing in a guest speaker, among other things. The grant must be completed by your students and adequately address each section. When finished, the application must be emailed to the grant committee for final approval. If the grant is approved, core members will assist the students in shopping for supplies for planning the event. If the grant is rejected, the grant committee will send a letter stating the application's revisions. You will have time to revise the grant and resubmit it for another review. However, if you choose to add items to the budget, you must change the budget template as well. Over the course of your year with HPEC, you may be asked to run a planning committee. A planning committee is created for a certain day or large-scale activity that will take place later in the year. An example of an event that requires a planning committee is Scholars Day. Your committee might have anywhere from three to ten other core members involved at one time. It is important to delegate responsibilities and make sure everyone does their part. Planning committees are an essential part of the HPEC initiative as they facilitate many important events throughout the year. If you have any students that appear to be particularly motivated academically, you might want to encourage them to take some post-secondary program classes. PSOP allows students to take college-level classes while in high school. There are two options when applying to this program. Under option A, students pay for tuition and books while receiving college credit. Under option B, the students can participate in undergraduate courses that will count towards both college and high school credit at no charge and allow them to borrow college books for free. Students should be told that by participating in this program, they can save money on college tuition and potentially graduate early. If your students are interested in this program, go to hpec.me for more information. From there, click on the Academics tab and Post-Secondary Enrollment Option Programs link. There you can read more information on Kent State's PSOP program. Don't forget to encourage your students to talk to your guidance counselors if you want to participate in this program. This is especially true if your students are not in the Kent State area, but their school provides PSOP programs at local colleges and universities. Public health is a career that HPEC students can look into if they are not interested in one of the more traditional careers, such as a doctor or a nurse. Public health is the science and art of protecting and improving the health of communities through education, promotion of healthy lifestyles, and research into disease and injury prevention. Examples of public health careers include behavioral science, health education, biostatistics, environmental health, health services administration, management, and international global health. If your students have additional questions about public health as a career, core members have access to various public health resources and can direct them to the appropriate people.